A big what's up to everybody, welcome back to the channel. We have some breaking news regarding your Philadelphia 76ers. The Sixers have hired two new people within their front office. Um, this is breaking news essentially because a lot of us fans have been asking for this for the last six months or at least since Brett Brown was fired a few weeks ago. Our prayers have been answered. Let's deep dive into it. So the first hire is Peter Dinwiddie. He is the former senior vice president of basketball operations for the Indiana Pacers. A little bit of background on him. He worked his way up within the organization, first starting off as a ticket sales manager. He played a key role in Indiana's salary cap management because you already know Indiana is within a small market, so they can't always go out and pay top dollar for the best free agents. Um, and I'm assuming since he was there for a while, he probably was instrumental or at least had some say or some input within the Paul George, Sabonis, and Victor Oladipo swap that Indiana had with the Oklahoma City Thunder a few years back. So that's some good stuff right there. The second guy who the Sixers hired, his name is Prosper Karangwa. Hopefully I got his name correct. I don't like when people mess up my name. So hopefully I got that joint right. But he is the former director of scouting for the Orlando Magic. First, he had his own scouting business and it was so well ran that the Orlando Magic decided to hire him for their own team. He started as a scout within the organization, then he was promoted to college scouting director and then director of scouting for the whole team. Um, he is a basketball guy, which is important. We know that GM general manager Elton Brand wanted basketball heads in his front office because last year the front office was composed of analytical guys, people who probably have never touched a basketball professionally in their lives, which can be beneficial, but there's also the point of having someone who has been there and played those games, been around the league, talk to players, talk to GMs from a player perspective. Those things are important as well, and GM Elton Brand saw that and knew that. He spent most of his time and professional career in the Euro Leagues, and he also has experience um, within college ball, where he played for Siena College in the early 2000s. So I guess the next question is, what does all of this mean, and what roles will these guys be filling in? Um, it is looking like Dan Witte will be the second-hand man to Elton Brand, bars um, and it's looking like he will be the vice president of basketball operations his role will specifically deal with the cap situation which is a glaring issue that the Sixers currently find themselves in having two massive contracts of Al Horford and Tobias Harris we are going to see what he can do with those two if he is even going to trade them or whatever Karangwa, on the other hand, will be becoming the vice president of player personnel, which means he will work closely with head coach Doc Rivers and the players themselves. So there you have it. Change has come to the Philadelphia 76ers front office. To be honest, I, <laughs> I really don't even know who these like, you know, bulls are. So maybe not the biggest front office splash, but splash nevertheless. That's all we can ask for, especially with the kerfuffle we had last year. Earlier this week, Sergei Olivia, the vice president of strategy and analytics for the 76ers, parted ways with the team. For those of you who do not know who Sergei, who Sergei Olivia was, well, boy, I have a lot to tell you. He had a large role in the 76ers organization, especially last year. According to Keith Pompey of the Philadelphia Inquirer, Olivia was involved in the analytics-driven decisions that the Sixers took last season. He had a lot to do with determining the Sixers' rotation and substitution patterns based on the analytics he saw fit. He was an integral part of the coaching meetings and presented the coaches with an analytics sheet to consult during games. <laughs> what? <laughs> Like, this is the stuff I am talking about with this incompetent ownership group. First, you fire Sam Hinkie, who was an analytics-driven dude. Save face with the league even though you didn't need to. You basically say, oh yeah, screw that. And then behind the scenes, you create a smaller position for somebody to do the exact same thing Sam Hinkie brought to you. Just to reiterate one more time. So not only do you lie to the NBA saying you have sworn off from a major analytics approach with the firing of Sam Hinkie, 
but you do it anyway in secret and hire a guy who was worse than the first guy you had, who was a genius. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, like, nah, nah. That makes absolutely no sense. Absolutely no sense. And that is the reason why the Sixers regressed the way they did last year. They deserved it. You're stupid. In other front office news and moves, Alex Rucker, one of the main culprits of last year's collapse, has been demoted to a new position within the organization, one that has nothing to do with decision making with the team, but more so data getting and strategy. So he's basically going <laughs> he's basically going to take Sergio's job. <laughs> and good old boy Scott O'Neill is still employed by the team. Great. Regardless of that, the front office collaborative effort experiment is no more. GM Elton Brand has full autonomy to do what he wants within the realms of what the ownership group allows him to do. It is looking like he and Doc Rivers will be the two head people to write the 76ers ship. And this is good because now we know who to blame when things go wrong. There is no more hiding under the guise of a team collaborative thing. No, we're not doing that no more. This is a business. You are now on the clock, Elton Brand. Let's see what you do, my brother. So just to recap, there has been some moving and shaking within the Sixers organization, and I am all for it. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video. If you have not done so already, please like and subscribe. You will see my beautiful face eventually once I get this haircut. As always, them boys are mad because the process worked. My name is Kain, and I'll see you later. Peace.